did you boys and girls spot the contradiction? Because I'm pretty sure everyone else did. Yep, I do. Alright, let's get right to the part. Very easy to find out. Watching a video of a tape program, I find that hard to believe since there was a blackout around that time. From noon to six. Again, you're wrong. Gotta love that. Gotta love that objection sound they give out. That's what. That's part of what makes this game so iconic. Just the over, t the over the topness of it all. It's so batshit nuts that anyone can really get into it. Since we contradicted him again, he will now give us a third testimony. And I believe when they give out the third testimony, they don't give out any more than that. And now he's losing credibility because he keeps on changing his mind. Not very good to do in court. Alright, last testimony, hearing the time. You saw it. The murder weapon was a clock? Alright, his, his logic is going down the toilet. Thank you, Your Honor. Obvious contradiction is obvious. Table clock on the apartment. Murder weapon. He calls a clock the murder weapon, but we have the murder weapon right here, and it is a statue. So he's wrong again. Hold up a damn minute. It was this statue. And here begins the corner of music. One of the most iconic things about the game, the music is also very, very memorable, and it's also very, very good. Hell, they even put this in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 as one of his themes. That's how good the Phoenix Wright series, or Ace Attorney, whatever you wish to call it, is. But as it turns out, it is, in fact, a clock. He just submitted it as a statue because no one would see it as a clock. So it's his fault. So technically we are wrong here, but we don't get any points taken away. It's all part of the story. And yes, I do have a problem with it. Since there's no digital readouts, or any kind of readout on it whatsoever, and it only shouts out the time, the only way you can hear it get sounded is to hold it in your hand. But he says he can go in the apartment. Another contradiction. This guy is full of them. He obviously went in. I'll do a lot more than that, Frank. You're the one that did it. Epic close-up of Phoenix face! Who honestly sticks their hair back like that? And how can you have it stick like that? It must have like a whole tub of hair gel just to keep it settled. But then again, over the top. Kinda odd that you happen to hit her with the head of the thinker. Just imagine if he used the bottom of the thinker. Technically, he probably would have gotten away with it, but he's not going anywhere now. Faceless my ass! Look at his face! Oh, he knows he's in trouble. Answer the question, Frank! 
Any time now. Come on, dude. Wait, what the hell? Hair in the face. And now you'll see another reaction of the witnesses. This is pretty much their, like... They gone nuts, essentially. Every witness has their own little... Little breakdown. With him, he pretty much chucked his hair at us. It is now going... <laughs> it's now essentially hyperventilating. Yes, I do claim it. It's very easy. Now can we test this? Try something in the clock. The batteries would do nothing. Give me that clock. I'm gonna try the hell out of that clock. And that's an odd way to announce the time. But he is the thinker. And so that was the second to last part of the trial. Only one more part to go. So it's three hours slow. That will make up for the time difference for the autopsy and when he spotted the victim. Yeah, you got nothing. What? What do you want now? Okay, it does. Day of the murder? Yeah, someone could have tweaked it out and just set it back a few hours or whatever. So without proving that, we cannot win. And here we get our first swear in the game. I believe it's like the only one, so, it, so yes, it is good for the kids. How many times did he swear in the Ninja Turtles movie, for Christ's sake? Like, five times? But then again, it was all the same word. We can no longer cross-examine him. So we essentially lose. So close, and yet, so far. Damn you, Frank! But Mia does not want this trial to end just yet. She still has some faith in us. She knows that we have what it takes. And because she is not the actual attorney in the in the trial, she cannot like say anything like really important without us like like re re uh, reassuring it. Like, say that she wants us to, like... Okay, now I'm just stumbling over my goddamn words right now. She cannot make all the... The permanent calls. Like, she cannot, like, say, Oh, you've done this. And she cannot bring up the evidence. That's our job. She's just here for, like, moral support and... Just to give us, like, little hints. And we can prove that it's three hours slow. Here's our final presentation. Yes, we have, Your Honor. And let's bring it out. Evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. The only evidence we didn't show, the passport. because she went to Paris and that there's a time difference because of different time zones. The difference is nine hours. And so it wasn't slow, it was instead fast. And they, she hasn't changed her clock since returning home. And she, So she probably would have changed it on the day of the murder, but unfortunately the murder took place and she couldn't. Or should I say, Mr. Did It? And here we see the final breakdown of the witness. Of them passing out. Or contracting rabies and then passing out. 
And we won. Yes, it has indeed. As you got as you guys can all see, this this kind of cohort goes on a different kind of system. Instead of having a jury like normal courts do, instead it goes goes basically on evidence alone. If you don't have any evidence to back up your statement, your statement is in fact crap. So you best have everything that you need before approaching anything. This court finds the defendant Mr. Larry Butts not guilty! Fantastic! And I love the confetti just to make it all the more crazier. And now I can leave. Thank you! He was a common burglar and he just wanted to get into people's houses and steal their shit! So he probably thought that Larry was the guy who had the apartment so he went in after Larry left. But unfortunately the victim came back home and kinda spotted him doing his dirty work. But then he did the deed and unfortunately ended the woman's life. She's not real. This isn't Final Fantasy 7 all over again for Christ's sake. What I mean by that, Eris. Ah, congratulations and happy music for all. Terrific. And such a fast note too. Well, fast in their world, not in mine. And Larry's is still depressed. You don't even know how to be happy, do you, butts? Who honestly would have their last name be that? The schoolyard taunts would be endless. But she's gone and so he's still rather suicidal and she was... I want to know what that sentence was. Come on, Phoenix. Don't leave me hanging. Yes, bring back the happy music. Harry Butts. Ah, tongue-in-cheek. Hilarity. He doesn't even correct her or anything, he just goes along with it. Oh, hoo -hoo, I know what Larry's trying to do. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And another thinker? Isn't this supposed to be evidence? As it turns out, Larry actually made the clocks himself. Two of them, one for her and one for himself. I'd like to know what that would be made out of, like... It wouldn't be made out of clay because it'd be, be kind of too light. It all depends on what you put into it. Well, you just don't know some people all that well. Not really. And in these these final sections of the cases, then they, they give you the option of making the person feel better or just not doing it. All it gives you is a little bit of extra dialogue to move the story along and make it a bit happier. And so what you have to do is present evidence that that alludes to their like happiness or whatever. In this case, it'd be the statue. This is the evidence, and this is the clock you gave her. And she took it with her. She must have really liked it. Unless she really liked you, dude. But think of it. Why would she carry a heavy-ass clock around when she could just buy a watch? There's a bit more to it than just that, Larry. Eh. Yeah, I like when Larry actually looks serious for some time. But it never lasts long. He's always doing some highly emotional thing. Ah, good lord. It's dragging on for a little too long. 
believe in yourself and the heart of the cards and all that other bullshit. You must learn to trust in the cards. Yes, we shall. The innocent butts. God damn it. Wait, you got his name wrong again. Only part. We'll find out what the other part is much later in the game. Yes, lots and lots of drinks. And that's the end of the first trial. And Larry's good to be free. He better be paying me. He'll be paying me for months. But unfortunately, Clock is going to be in the head of another case. And we won't be able to tell Mia about us and Larry. For a, for a certain reason. That brings the first trial to a close. Good lord. New episode has been added. Turnabout Sisters. And we shall save the game. Oh boy. It's taken me quite a while, but we did it. We completed the first episode. And after you completed each episode, they give you a little picture concerning the entire case and the main, you know, people who surround the case. Frank, Larry, and Cindy. Dear Lord, this game is going to take a while because the cases are just going to get bigger and bigger from here on out. So, uh, next time in Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, we'll start up episode 2 about sisters. I'll see you guys then.